In video one, we unpacked the ICT CFT framework. We identified six aspects and three levels that at the intersection of those aspects and levels were the 18 competencies. So six of them have been aligned with knowledge acquisition. And if you turn to page 27 of the document, you can see it lists the six here. And if you read through them, you'll notice that they do align very neatly with each of the different aspects. The first one you might remember, the first aspect is understanding ICT and education, has a particular policy focus, and sure enough it says here that teachers who have mastered this competency level will be able to articulate how their classroom practices correspond to and support institutional and or national policy and so on. If you read all the other six, you'll notice that they all tie very neatly into those aspects. So we turn to page 28 and we can now see the suggestions of how to interpret or to decipher what that particular competency might be. So in the first row, for example, there it is, aspect one, understanding ICT and education policy. It provides a goal in the second column. And then there in the third column is the actual competency. So in this case, it is articulate how classroom practices correspond to and support institutional and or national policy. Now, that's all very well, but you can see it's very high level. So how would you do that? And so the framework begins to unpack these competencies and suggests specific objectives. So in the fourth column, you can see that the first competency has been broken into two objectives. KA1A has a particular look at how the policy might be implemented in the classroom, whereas KA1B, that objective, I says, identify the principles of using ICT in education in a safe and accessible manner. So you can see it's a slightly different bent. It's not specifically policy. It's more about responsible use and obviously keeping yourself and your students safe. And that's why the final column is very useful. It gives you some suggestions about how you might structure some type of continuing professional development or even pre-service training that will align with that objective and help them achieve it. And so the framework continues through the different levels. So for example, on 35, we've got knowledge deepening. And again, the objectives will be different, as will the competencies. But they're laid out in a similar format. And you can scroll through and then also arrive at the section on knowledge creation. It has a different set of competencies broken up into different types of objectives.